everyone i am back after a bit of a break which was caused by my burn on the hand uh, which was a bit unfortunate but as you can imagine it was very hard to handle life work and everything while having my hand wrapped up this is like the second day that it's not wrapped up because it's been healing quite well but yeah it's been the first day that i could wash my hair by myself uh, it's been great <laughs> it's super hard to rely on someone else especially because we have completely different sleep schedules and you know it, it just doesn't work well and the last time i think i spoke to you we just put in our first deposit for our new home which is exciting yesterday we just put through all our referencing details which is also quite cool um which means we'll have the contract very very soon exciting stuff um and we're officially moving on june 13th which means it's in three weeks i think um which still seems like quite a bit almost a month but at the same time, considering how my work life now w looks and the fact that I'm working until 8 p.m. each day, three weeks will pass just like that. So yeah, today it's Saturday. I slept 12 hours and I feel kind of, you know, like a newborn. And since I can finally move my hand, I mean, I cannot like fully stretch it, but I can like, you know, do stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna clean up a bit because, you know, obviously the last two weeks it's, it's a bit of a mess when you can't really clean up and you know do things as you go and i'll just add that it's the first time i'm wearing pants because i can finally easily go to the toilet that's like the current state of our flat i just got some new bits yesterday of course none of them fit i don't know why maybe i lost some weight or something but yeah i just left them here because i was too tired to do anything um there I have socks, you know, just like a bunch of things. So that needs just cleaning up. And in this bag, I have socks. <laughs> and it's because, you know, like sometimes you just like reach that point where either you only have mismatched socks or each single sock has like a huge hole that you just can't fix even if you tried. So I reached that point <laughs> once again. It happens like each like, what, like four years, I guess. And I'm trying to be more sustainable and ethical with even like my basics that I buy now. It's, it's very hard because obviously the, you know when you don't have any more socks your first instinct is to go to like ASOS and just buy the b b plain white socks that you've been getting forever it is a big change especially because I research like you know ethical fair trade sustainable socks and all that stuff and to be honest it wasn't that easy because I was looking for very basic socks I know organic basics have some but I also wanted to try a different brand so I found Komodo they do a lot of different things um, but they had a nice selection of socks. I already wore some, but I can show you what I got. Um, yeah, so I love those socks. They're just very retro. Um, plain white with stripes. I also have them in dark green. This is so random. I'm just telling you about my favorite socks. I also love those like kind of thicker ones, like those wintry ones, but I wear them even in the summer just because they're comfy kind of as slippers. I got zebra ones. I don't know if I need zebra socks, but I guess if I need socks, um, why not? That's it from my sock story. <laughs> Okay, I'm done with my cleaning. I think I cleaned up everything. So now I'll just make myself a juice for lunch. I mean, I will eat proper lunch, but first I just want a juice with a beetroot, celery. That's my favorite combination. I know people hate it, but I love it. And just with an apple or two. Um, that's it. I love juices. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm also doing kind of a small mock-up of what we want to do for our bedside table. Getting two of these is actually cheaper than getting two of those secondhand, which is funny enough, as Urban Outfitters tends to be really expensive. And I picked those funky lamps. I don't know, I think they're just fun. And they have a nice kind of pastel -y pink color. Um, I would just change the lampshade to something more fun, like orange. Yeah, I guess orange or I don't know, just something fun. Um, I'm making a shopping list, which I cannot afford, but you know, it's always good to have some goals and um, a priority list. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Um, I've been up a bit earlier today. It's Sunday and I kind of plan to do a bit of Depop. So now I'm done with Depop. I was supposed to sell those trousers. Um, 
but I don't know they're really comfy so I might just keep them and wear them around home but the last time I tried them on they were too small today they're perfect so I don't know what's up anyways now I'm just gonna clean all of this up because as you know I have to rearrange everything so I'm just gonna you know quickly clean it up and then do some measurements of the clothes that I photographed today there's Brittany my fan number one today we're going to buy paint so that we can repaint our flat and we need to buy some like wall filler and like this weird like spatula to fill in all the holes from the posters and frames so it's kind of our little trip today a five minute walk to Leyland so we're back we bought some poly filler to fill the holes in our walls we got those kind of things to fill the walls I thought it would be like a metal spatula I used the fact that we were there to get some paint samples because this is how our new place will look like all of them are so nice but I think we're gonna go for like a peachy one like that for our living room and for our bedroom and maybe we will have one contrast wall which will be mm, something like this like very dark orange I also grabbed this like minty green because I just like the color so we'll find a place we'll find a wall so today we are giving Kuba a haircut because Not a haircut, just a quick cut Just a quick trim because um, I just said that he had like a really good length in What was that? September? So we need to get rid of like I guess two inches today And he's sitting by the toilet This is literally the most un unprofessional haircut Who cares? Should I just like cut it like that? Uh, oh my god, that's a lot of hair Yeah, whatever no. No, I think I need to start it. from the top. Jesus Christ. Okay, no, I'm gonna like... start with the bits, okay? <laughs> cut it, yes. <laughs> Just cut it. <laughs> Fun. Hi everyone, it's Sunday, so that means it's my day off, which includes cleaning um, and just sorting my private stuff, which means I finally had time to open this lovely parcel, which included two jumpsuits from Rock the Jumpsuit, Ooh, and I just can't get over how it fit. Oh my lord. I love it. I already have one jumpsuit from them, the brown kind of cord one, and I wore it to New Year's Eve and I honestly became obsessed just because they fit like I, I can't I can't even express how well they fit. They just make you feel so snug but comfy, which is amazing. And they give you that extra sexy vibe. And I'm gonna try on the other one that I got. Uh, which is sequin one full disco and oh my god this is a dream <clears throat> I'm speechless uh, by the amount of sequins uh, but in a good way I love it and I love the sleeves with the slight flare so cool so me and Kuba went out for a Sunday walk and a picnic with double pints in reusable cups Ooh. Hello, today I finally have an easier day. Finally, I'm not like super, super busy, which means I can actually cook lunch, which was not an option for the past couple of days. And since I'm cooking today, I'm making a Northern Thai coconut curry soup. Yes, that's it. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm doing, is just onion, garlic, ginger, with some curry powder, Thai curry paste, a vegan one, of course, turmeric, um, and I'm just waiting for it to kind of fry a bit. And then I'm gonna add some vegetable broth into it. And also coconut milk, some mushrooms, bean sprouts, all that stuff. So our soup is ready. It doesn't look that pretty because I didn't have any like toppings for it, but it tastes good. Hi everyone. So yesterday after I showed you my amazing cooking skills, I didn't really film anything and just because I was super tired and Kuba, like Kuba literally fell asleep in front of his laptop. And then I had a pretty like easy day and I also got really tired. <laughs> but the good news is we finally received our contract for a new place, which is great. It's, it's been really delayed because we had issues with referencing. 
Um, even though we are paying six months in advance, we are put through the whole referencing process, which usually would be fine. Um, Kubo was honest with what he said. He just said he's currently unemployed, um, which is fine because we're paying in six months in advance. But I put in all of like my jobs, all of my income, and basically they, they said that, yes, yeah, your sure, self-employment income is valid, but your full-time contract is not valid. And I was like, well, why? And they literally said it's because I'm employed by a private company, so they are unable to trace the company as they don't have a website. So they cannot really prove if the contact that I provided to my employer is real. And I was like, yeah, but I can provide you with like my employment contract. I can provide you with like um, all like four months payslips because that's like for four months I only had this contract. And they're like, no, you could have faked everything. Anyways, we figured it out. Um, it's just annoying this whole referencing process and the company wasn't too nice to us They were just like, oh, yeah, you could have faked everything. I'm like Why would I do that? Like why? Um, but yeah, the good news is we have the contract um, The movers are booked The only thing is that our boxes did not arrive yet and we were planning to start packing this weekend So in two days anyways, my odd box arrived and it scared shit out of me yesterday <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um so basically they delivered the odd box throughout the night so they say that it's like between wednesday 6 p.m and thursday 10 a.m something like that so sometimes of course they deliver at like a normal hour so maybe like you know 6 to 10 p.m that's still fine for me uh but lately i've been going to sleep really early and literally last night they woke me up and i got so scared that i just couldn't like fall back asleep <laughs> Anyways, that's this week's uh, odd box. As always, there's loads of asparagus, uh, which is fine, but I'm a bit sick of it at this point. Um, mushrooms, my favorite thing this year. I don't know why. I hated mushrooms, and now I'm obsessed. A lot of apples for juices, some spring onion. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, radish. That's an interesting one. But, oh, aubergine again. Again, a bit sick of that. Nevertheless, I still have no idea what to make for lunch today, which is typical. I mean, I always anyways come up with something and I'm really great at making things out of nothing. That's my specialty. But I don't know, I'm not, today I'm just not in a mood for anything. Do you just know those days? Like, I just, I'm really hungry, but I just don't feel like anything. And I don't know what to make. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna make. I have those like really, like flat round of oh, what are they called or something um noodles and i'm just gonna make them with mushrooms and just some olive oil and garlic sauce and some chili oh, you are gonna eat pasta today i'm gonna eat pasta my angel Food. Mom's gonna feed you on a bit. Eat. <laughs> 